What's up guys? Terrible Bob here and um, here we are in the Fairmont. As you can see I have my cluster here and all that stuff. Uh, this is just a quick video. I'm going to be selling the EFI Live. Here it is. I'll plug it in a second so you guys can see it do its thing. Here's the 0411 PCM for LS1 with um, cable throttle body. It's got a speed density tune on it. Custom operating system from this. Uh, so it's mathless. Um, I'm going to go over the mods I did in the front. Uh, this is the PSI conversion harness. The, don't mind all the extra wiring. The, the, the harness itself is very nice. It's loomed and it's got the connectors here for the, uh, what's it called? The 4L60 and all that. So I'm selling the harness, the swap harness. It's really simple. It's just uh, uh, constant power, switched power, and ground. Um, it's really simple. I'll show you guys the harness in the front when we get there. But uh, let me start this beast for you so you can see it work. Uh, the cluster is also included because it's wired in. Connects right here to the tan wire and that's what gives it. Some of it's labels, some of it isn't. I'll also include the, uh, the diagram for the connector, the wiring diagram as well as the PDF for the harness. Uh, let me start so you guys can see that it works. <laughs> to read right now but it's on yeah there you have it scan tool uh, let's see data logging or data there you go you guys can see it's doing its thing so that's that Uh, this computer is already licensed. Uh, this computer is already licensed on here, so you can tune, data log, uh, change operating systems in and out between math and speed density, and you do all that stuff. The EFI Live is included, the computer, the harness, and the cluster. Uh, I'm also going to include various, uh, maybe like one or two sensors in the front for the modifications I made. So we're going to cut real quick, and uh, I'll show you guys in the all front. All right, guys, so here we are in the front. Um, you can see the harness comes through here. The uh, constant power is uh, sourced down there at the starter. This is the way it comes. Um, you know, it's got all the everything plugs into where it should be. This harness is for an LS1 motor. Uh, it's got the EV1 injector clips. If I can pull one off. The square guys. It's got uh, the throttle body here. Uh, this is where I made the modification. This is for the truck math, and since I'm obviously mathless, all I did was tap into the wires for the um, what's this? The intake air temperature. But you can easily just connect it back to this. Just match up the two colors and reconnect it. Um, you know, it's got the O2 sensors. I won't be including those. You should have your own sensors. Um, you know, it just connects here, connects there, connects everywhere. I have it set up for a three bar map sensor, which I also had to splice into the wiring for the map sensor. Again, you can swap this back to the factory style. You just gotta cut it wired in. Uh, but I'll just, since this is already set up for speed density and possibly someone else with a turbo car of the same setup can use it, all you gotta do is plug this into your map sensor. You can even use my stock tune. This is a 4.8 with a GT500 injectors. Um, LS6 cam, Borg Warner. Obviously, you should tune it yourself, but there's nothing to uh, stop you from running my tune. And that's all there is. There's a ground on the back of the head that comes through the cable. There's also a ground inside by the kick panel where the ECU is. Uh, but outside that, it's literally plug and play, flip the key. Uh, this sensor is included, as is the pigtail. So, is that one over there? Uh, it's all here. It's complete. Um, I also spliced into the uh, is the data line. That was a tan one I showed you inside for the cluster. Again, if you don't want it, just uh, snip the wire. But all of this will be included as a plug-and-play ordeal. 
the wiring diagram for everything, the instruction manual will all be included. So uh, don't worry. There's no more licenses left on this, but if you plan on using it with the uh, computer that's in there, uh, it's fine. Everything's there. Uh, one thing about this is that the inputs 1 and 2, let's flip it over here, A1 and A2 don't work, but you still have A3 and A4 to data log your wideband. So you have that, and uh, it still functions. I just tested it, plugged it in. I'm going to include all these little guys here that you need. But outside that, uh, that's the basic rundown. Let me start it up for you again. Hopefully my hood doesn't fall down. Just one last time. I also have various videos of me driving with this setup. Uh, you can watch them. There's like little burnout videos. It's uh, it's called uh, Fun Time During Christmas and just me just being uh, rowdy. So this setup works. And uh, if you're looking, if you're someone looking to run electronic transmission with the speed density and have factory-like drivability, uh, this is uh, definitely the setup for you. Uh, remember, you can always buy more licenses for this and tune other cars with it. You always have that option. Um, but if you're interested, let me know. Reply to this video down here in the comments. Or hit me up on uh, ls1tech.com. My username is speedy911. Uh, you may see this in the classifieds.